Hey guys, my last video that I posted was an informational video and it really did well numbers wise and the amount of engagement I got was absolutely crazy. Like, my phone has been blowing up with just notifications of like comments and stuff like that. It's been absolutely amazing. I'm on cloud nine. So, I'd like to come back at it, hitting the ground running with another of these videos, a part two, tailored towards the average player not playing you're not no one's fucking tens except for tens you know what i mean so here's some sh proof you know i i was gold silver three bouncing back and forth right two two x x yeah x then i got up to plat after just studying the game got up there didn't play that much the next act but then just started steamrolling got up to diamond got up to diamond two the next act and then i got up to immortal two playing a bunch of immortal games played a little bit and then they introduced my new rank ascendant <laughs> got stuck in that for a little bit but then still managed to get back up into immortal and this is all not being the best player and honestly you don't have to be the best player to rank up so um let's get into a couple breakdowns and before that i'd like to show a little bit of uh here's my stats up on the screen real quick yeah as you can see, 17% headshot accuracy. I'm not the best player. I'm not out there tapping heads. I usually kill people from behind. Because they don't even see me. Why take a duel? You know? Alright, let's get into this fucking breakdown. Something I didn't really show in the last video oh, was that you your... can actually kind of win rounds in the middle of a round just by helping your team. So, we're about to hit B here on Ascent. Yeah. What I'm going to first do is paranoia the off the rip, right? Just a square. We're going to blind off. That way my duelist can come in, immediately start popping smokes so that way we can go quick cuz they're kind of they're kind of moving pretty quick. So, initially I want to teleport into there, but I see that that's not going to go. I check, see another. This is just me trading off of teammates. Most of those people were already damaged. I'm just trying to pick up kills and it turns into a clip because I got 3 of them. I'm gonna go over here, hold lane for my team. I'm kind of stupid here and don't realize that there's a turret that would, you know, cover a flank. And then I'm like, oh wait, I probably should cover something else. And then I'll just re-smoke something. I smoke off the entrance to B main because I noticed that KJ turret saw him mid, so I'm preemptively smoking. This is another clip of me helping win a round um, on the mid round instead of just cl all clutches like I did last time. So I'm gonna push up with chamber here. I'm gonna flash deep into there just in case anybody's playing there so I can check the left cubby before um, having to swing a dual angle like that. You know, get out my util onto site, push through, get some trips to, um, destroyed. I'm gonna molly off elbow and spray down anything that's over there because it might have pushed him into a corner where I can get some free damage. Then we're gonna push up here, smoke disappears. And I managed to get three, even if it was just one there, that still would have been the cypher dead. And then we would have played a uh, number advantage. And then I'm going to keep pushing up here because I can see my team kind of wants to push into CT. So I'm going to play this corner. That way someone can trade or I can trade. They flash out. I figure, yep, she's probably playing close there because they didn't see her deep CT. And the rest of her team was already in elbow, so she might be close to me. I'm just playing in an area that I can get traded. So back to clutching rounds. I'm going to see that somebody was B, so I'm going to smoke off B because I might be pushing that. All right, they're out on the C, so I'm going to try and hold garage here. I'm going to drop down. First, I'm going to clear outside garage because I want to see if anybody's out there. I hear the plant's about to go off, so I'm going to stall it off with alt. And then, unfortunately, my sky gets picked here, too, before we can go out. Now I'm in a 1v3. So I'm going to hold close to the smoke and wait for plant. Swing out on plant, see if anybody... I can take ones, two ones... I almost die there. I'm going to play a little bit back. I know. All right. Destroy that. I'm going to. I was going to walk left side, but now I think he's not going to expect me being that close on the right. Sometimes if you stall long enough on one side, like an odd amount of time, they're going to be looking left and right trying to figure out where you're coming from. And then you just have to find like a, a weird time, you know, like a weird time to swing that. But I also notice how I was taking those isolated ones. So playing Sky on Bind, um, you notice that I have a Deagle, right? On a bonus, I don't like to keep just a Deagle unless I'm saving up for an op. So typically I like to accompany it with something else. I, typically this is going to be a Bucky because it gives me that close range. 
and I have the long range, and it's not the most expensive buy. I'm a flash for my team. I'm a dog out so my rays can gain up some space. I'm gonna try and check into hookah. I don't see anything in uh, hookah, so I'm gonna walk in. All right, I noticed that she's back sight with a shorty, so I'm gonna try and grab this before she can pull push up onto it. My team TPs. He doesn't expect me. I'm gonna peek this with long range with the sheriff. Go back to short range. Yep. That's why we buy. That's why we buy a Bucky and a Deagle. Great combination. You got the long range one shot and a close. All right, this clip is gonna start off. We're trying to take this. I'm gonna spam it. Yep. And my raise dies mid ult. Typical. I get flashed. There's the second flash. I can't see shit. I'm out of here. So I leave. I know I need to make a play. I just start spraying people down. I happen to get three here. Um, the only reason I was there was because I was trying to make a play. My cypher's lurked up here, so I'm going to walk over and try and rotate quick with my cypher. Get the smokes down. I know he's CT because of comms, so I'm going to molly that off so he can't push out on me because I don't have a cypher to protect me. Yep. I fake a plant there just because I'm not sure if he's like a crackhead and is going to walk through the smoke. So I'm going to tap at once. But thankfully my cypher walked up and uh, traded, or not traded, got the kill there. Um, but... Yeah, sometimes I like to just uh, tap, like, once. So something important in the beginning of this clip is my teammate comms that uh, Sova was hit 120. So I now know Sova is literally a uh, pubic hair away from dying. So I'm probably going to, yeah. I did hear him running up A long, so I was just going to hold that rotate. My team's up on C, so I'm going to try and walk up, get a dart down so that my team can better hold this it doesn't scan anyone but from there i'm gonna try and take some trades i head tap sova and i know he's max 100 health so i'm gonna try and hit a arrow here instead of peeking and i get two off that arrow because two people were won that round um typically i like to swing off of a long range arrow especially if i'm shooting the arrow at bomb because if you throw an arrow, people see that shit coming and they'll start running with their knife out and you can just swing it and sometimes get a free kill. This next clip starts super fast, so just stay with me. First, I'm going to be shock darting up in heaven to see if I can get uh, some damage. And then from there, I hear Cypher flank. So I'm going to arrow for my jet on sight, try and hit another shock dart. I see him. I get a shock dart kill there by just shooting him in the face with one. Uh, breach on to sight with ult. I'm gonna try and walk up and flank the cypher out and long, but he's already fucking gone. I'm gonna play alt here. I'm 30 health. So first, I'm gonna shoot off the first tap. He was low enough that I could trade that. Shoot the second guy on it, and I know that somebody's running up on me, so I wide swing it. If you're like one health, don't swing short. You're just going to get, like, wall banged. So, Ferrari peak if you're, like, one and you're in a 1v1 and you know it's a 1v1. Don't Ferrari peak if you're, like, you're one and pushing onto a site that, like... You know what I mean? Like, if you're pushing into multiple angles, don't Ferrari peak. If you're pushing into one guy, Ferrari peak him. Especially if you're one. Jiggle it if you're not. So that's going to be it for the video today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. It really means the, the absolute fucking world to me. Because I put, a, I put a decent amount of effort in these videos. And I'm pretty busy uh, most of the time. So I try and find some time to make these. Uh, some key takeaways I'd like to impress upon like my content. Is I am a decent aimer. I'm, I'm not saying like you can just be like a potato. You can't be a potato and rank up. Like, sorry, it's unrealistic in a first-person shooter, but you can at, you can make up a lot for bad aim by having just really good game sense. So, I recommend watching VCTs, pros, and everybody, and just watching and trying to learn how the game works. That way, you don't always have to just be tens to win a game. Thanks so much for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one.